What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we are taking a look at printed reef, uh, 3D printed solutions for your reef tank. Now, over the past few years, 3D printed solutions for the reef aquarium has exploded. I mean, there's a ton of products out there and there's solutions to problems coming up all the time with 3D printed material. Now, printed Reef is one of those companies that is knocking it out of the park when it comes to unique 3D printed uh, solutions for your reef tank. They have a sand stand or a frag plug holder, a rock stand for your frag plugs. You can put it up in the rock work of your aquarium. And they also have a automatic feeder um, ring for your Neptune Apex uh, AFS and many other products that we're going to dive into today. So I have some boxes here. We're going to pop them open, take a look inside and unbox some products from Printed Reef. Let's just get right into it. Here is the box from Printed Reef and we are going to pop this thing open this all the way. There we go. Now you can go to printedreef.com and check out all these products, but look at this right off the bat. Already some high quality packaging here. I will pull back the bubble wrap. Look at this. Printed Reef stickers with some Swedish fish. You know I got to have some candy. Love the Swedish fish, that's awesome. And then let's take a look. Let's get into what we have going on inside. This is awesome, guys. So let's take a look at this right here. First off, the packaging is really well done. This packaging is awesome. And this looks like the um, AFS, the Neptune Apex uh, feeding ring that you can connect directly to your automatic feeder and it will help uh, contain your pellets all in one area so they're not just floating around the surface of your tank. They'll hang out in here and then they'll slowly start to sink. And that's a great solution and a, a great way to achieve it right here. Um, a nice, simple design that solves a problem that we all have in our aquarium when it comes to automatic feeders. Uh, next up, so they have them in multiple colors. Check this out. So we got the orange one and we have, looks like a clear one. Let's see if we can open this up and take a look at it. Look at that. That is nice and shiny. Look at that. They come in multiple colors, including black. We like to keep things, the usual colors around reef tank. Usually black is a color that's around all the reef tanks. Or if you want to go for the more orange look to match your apex system, you got the orange right here. You got the white clear 3D print there. And you also have Oh, the original black color. Now, these are all printed in PETG plastic filament, so it is completely reef safe. All of these are 100% reef safe. You can put them in your aquarium, by your aquarium, on your aquarium. That's not gonna hurt a thing. We'll take a closer look at all of these once we put them in the tank, but that's just the initial unboxing, and print quality is really good, nice and smooth polished finish there. Very cool looking. That is for the AFS. Now we're going to take a look deeper in the bag here. What do we have here? All right, check these out. So these are mushroom boxes, but they're not just any type of mushroom boxes. One, yes, they are 3D printed, but they also come the bottom there uh, you take your frag plug and you put your frag plug, you put it down in the bottom You can put a mushroom in there. You close the lid and that keeps the mushroom protected. It keeps it from floating away and moving around your tank. And hopefully it will attach itself to the frag plug and then you can take it out and you have your mushroom on a frag plug. So a nice little uh, design and a nice solution, again, for the reef aquarium. So this also comes in multiple colors. We have 
uh, the white here. And we have a black one here, so very cool, very nice. Digging it so far, printed reef. This is awesome. Let's take another, let's, let's get right into it. We got more to go. So all these, all these bags inside, there's so much in here. This is great. So let's take a look at these right here. Now this, these are the sand stands that I was talking about. Now this is for your coral frags to kind of secure them in place. And you can put your frag plug on the top and then you kind of twist this down into the sand. And like I said, with all the other ones, we're gonna give these all a try. Um, so I can give you an honest review on how I like them. But the design and the print so far is looking really good. Uh, this will go down in the sand, help secure your frag plug, because I don't know how many times I just put a frag plug in the sand and then you got a Nisarius snail or something pop his head up and kind of knock that frag plug over or a hermit crab hits it or a larger snail goes over it. Um, this you can kind of help secure it in place. You can kind of raise it up a little bit or lower it in the sand and it's all around a nice simple solution again for your reef aquarium and for frags. Um, so I like that a lot. That's really cool. And it also comes in multiple colors. So we got the orange and we have a white slash clear. I'm gonna have to look up the official color of that. I would say it's more of a clear, but it's a shiny white filament, but that looks really cool too. So we got the orange, the clear, and we have a black as well. So that is really neat in of itself that you have different colors that you can choose from. Here is the black and the design. If it's gonna focus on that, really cool. So those are the sand stands. Now, what else is there? Now, this is what I thought was a great solution to a problem. And that's, the problem is mounting your frags to the rock work and getting them in a place that you want them and not having to worry about gluing them down, um, which, it's all good to glue your corals down in place, but if you're trying them out in a location or if you just want to put them up in the rock work and uh, you don't want them to fall off or slide or move, these things are really handy. These are the rock stands. And these also come in multiple colors, white, uh, orange, or sorry, white, clear, black. Oh wait, no, I did get, Oh, these are the white. Okay, so that is, all right, I'm gonna move this box out of the way because it's just getting in the way of things right here. I just found this bag in the box. So move the box out of the way. So this is most definitely the white filament and yes, that's a clear. So the colors for the sand stands, you have white, clear, orange, and black. So nice color selections. Looks like a great product. And then this right here, going back to the rock stand. This is a frag plug holder with kind of like an extension here. So this extension, if you can see that, that extension right there allows you to put it in your rock work. So that way it will go in a small hole in your rock work and it'll, it'll hold it there. A snail comes by and bumps it, it's not gonna fall out. Um, it would take someone to pull it out for it to fall out, but it secures your frag plug in place. So I think this is a nice, simple solution to securing uh, frag plugs to the rock work. So again, multiple colors on that. This is awesome. It's really cool. I have bags of stuff everywhere cool thumbnail i don't know if i'm gonna do that or not but look at that so this is the afs neptune apex um, automatic feeder ring so we're gonna hook one up to the afs check it out we're gonna put some frag plugs on these guys put them in the tank and we'll even mount some frags to the rock work let's see how it's done 
Okay, before we get to that, I almost forgot. There's a large box right next to me. Let's scoot all these over just for a second. Look at this ginormous box here from Printed Reef. What could be inside? Let's, let's find out. So, oh yeah, this is the sand sifter. Let's take a look at this. Now what is a sand sifter? Well, a sand sifter allows you to reach your sand bed without getting your hands wet because of this heavy duty tool right here. This is the handle. All right, you can see just how long that is. And then at the end of the handle, let's put this down. We have this piece right here. Now this is the actual sand sifter. This will allow you to get into your sand bed, stir it up a little bit so you can clean it up. And you do all that without sticking your hands in the tank. This just connects right here. Perfect. And what did I see? Did I see a little hole there? Yes, there is a little hole because there is a locking pin that will hold it in place once I get it open here. So this little pin will screw right into place. It's plastic as well, so it's not gonna harm your reef. And I believe the extension here, this is a piece of acrylic, 3D printed handle, and 3D printed sifter there. Get it working, but you can see, just taking it out of the box. I don't know, this could be a thumbnail too. What do you think? I guess by the time the video is out, you'll already see the thumbnail. This is the sand sifter. All right, so now to the tank to try everything out. First, we have the sand stand. Now I chose to go with the orange color because that just pops in your tank. The orange color just looks really great inside the tank, but you pick a frag plug that you like, put it inside the sand stand, and then you twist it down in the sand. You can go all the way to just uh, your frag plug sticking out at the top or you can go about this deep like I'm doing now. My sand bed wasn't that deep in this area so this is about as far as I could get it. I really do like this frag stand. I like the orange color is probably my favorite. Uh, the clear and the white are great. I mean any color you go with is great. Um, it's function. It works like it's intended to. Uh, you twist it into the sand and it helps secure your frag there so I like it looks great on to the next thing okay so moving along to the coral plug rock holders now this is a really unique product I really like this a lot and we're gonna get a coral put it on there um, this is how you do it all right so to put it on the stand you have to kind of slide it in place here that's why there's a gap there so that way you can slide it in and then once you get your frag plug on the stand, now it's just a matter of finding a hole in the rock work. And you can put it right in there, place it, and it's not gonna fall out or go anywhere. All right, so next is the mushroom cage. And once you take the lid off, you're able to put your frag plug into the cage. Um, now I'm gonna show you an example using a Xenia frag because I couldn't find the mushroom that I was gonna use he moved on me so I don't have a mushroom for this demonstration but if you had a mushroom you would put your mushroom in here just like I'm doing with this Xenia frag then you place the lid on top put it in your sand and then it's protected nothing's gonna get to it and then over time that mushroom or soft coral will attach itself to the frag plug and then you can remove the frag plug and put it anywhere in your tank that you would like all right so next up i'm really excited about this one this is the feeding ring for the neptune apex afs and you can see it just attaches right here to the little plastic feet that hang over the edge and it 
it's printed perfectly to fit right in there so it slides right up it took me a little bit of adjusting just because one of the legs on mine is broken because I dropped it but once it's on there it's looking nice so this 3d printed solution attaches nicely to the AFS and it allows for the pellets to fall right into the ring and just float there until they sink into the water and then they're dispersed um, slowly so your fish can get to them and eat them up instead of just dumping out on top of the surface of your the water and then being carried off into the overflow and you lose some and your fish don't get a chance to get to them this way they're going to get into the water column and the fish have a chance to get some food so real quickly this is the sand sifting tool you can see just how long the tool is and this allows you to get into the reef like we mentioned before clean it up while you're doing water changes and stuff like that so an a nice unique tool another unique tool from printed reef so overall what do I think about the products here from printed reef I think they're really awesome these are unique solutions to problems that we have in the reef aquarium the quality of the prints are really nice uh, the packaging is really great and just the the ideas behind these products are awesome so I encourage you to go over to printedreef.com and get yourself some sand stands or some frag rock holders uh, they come in packs I believe the sand stands come in packs of five and uh, the frag rock holders come in packs of ten if I remember correctly uh, but everything is priced great over there as well uh, so no complaints from me about any of that so head on over to printedreef.com and pick up your own unique 3D printed solutions for your reef aquarium today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.